ClipFX offer quick offline rendering of many common audio processes and can be arranged as layers. You can add, remove and rearrange the layers allowing you to sculpt sounds unique to each clip. In this video, we'll be working with these keys. To start using Clip Effects, click on the Effects icon in the audio clip and navigate to Add Effect. Let's start by adding step volume to our clip. Step length and note position can be set in the Properties panel. In addition, steps can be added or removed manually with a simple mouse click. To add another layer, click on the plus sign icon. This time, let's add the tape start-stop effect. The fade handles at the beginning and end determine the duration of the start-stop effect. Third-party plugins can also be applied as a clip effect by clicking on Plugin. I'm going to select a chorus from the Artisan collection, but you can choose any plugin installed on your machine. Once we've layered our effects, we can adjust the order by clicking on the lines icon and choosing to either move the layer before or move the layer after. We can further adjust the properties of an effects layer by clicking on the cog icon. The properties for each layer are displayed in the Properties panel or the Actions panel if you're using Waveform 10. If you wish to remove a layer from your clip effects, simply click on the minus icon. Once happy with the sound you've sculpted, click on the Effects icon and uncheck Show Clip Effects. The layers collapse back to a single clip which can be moved, duplicated and edited while maintaining the effects you've applied. At any time, you can bring the layers back into view, make adjustments and fine-tune your clip effects. More detailed information for each of the available clip effects can be found on page 390 of the user guide.